away from the grandest stage of the all WrestleMania. And tonight, Monday Night Raw comes your way from Kansas City, where the WWE Champion, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, will be in your main event as he approaches his one-on-one -on -one meeting with the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, on WrestleMania Sunday. But coming up in your main event, the man who took Rob Van Dam to the limit, not once but twice, Cedric Alexander, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, tonight on Raw. Well, we kick things off from Kansas City with the number one contender, for the WWE Women's Championship of the World at WrestleMania. Eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber, she punched her ticket to the show of shows by outlasting five other women. And out tonight, she returns to action on the red brand. Becky looking to build momentum on the road to WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Earning her opportunity just weeks after her return, and now she moves to Tampa Bay, Florida on a WrestleMania Sunday. Becky Lynch goes one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, for the WWE Women's Championship. These two women got a lot of history in their careers, but they will lock horns once more at the grandest stage of them all, and all the marbles are on the line. Cannot wait to get to WrestleMania coming up in 26 nights. But Becky Lynch has got her hands full with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, tonight on Raw. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. WrestleMania is going to be a live premiere weekend. Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th. Both will be airing at 5 p.m. Eastern time. WrestleMania gonna be a stacked card on both nights. Cannot wait to get to the end of February in Tampa Bay, Florida. Shayna Baszler set for action to kick things off with Becky Lynch. Becky has got her eyes set on WrestleMania Sunday at the end of February, but she cannot look past the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler tonight. Asuka is known for her strikes as well as her submission holds, but Shayna Baszler may be the best at locking in those submissions here in the WWE. A little bit of a warm up match for Becky tonight, but not a woman to take lightly. She has faced Shayna Baszler at WrestleMania before, dating back a few years for the Raw Women's Championship. Reuniting that old rivalry tonight. Can Becky get past Shayna Baszler, continue to build momentum on the road to WrestleMania, or is this the matchup where Shayna Baszler truly starts to bounce back and build some momentum for herself? We'll find out in due time. Thank you for joining us tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Be sure to subscribe to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel down below as we are on the road to WrestleMania. WrestleMania Sunday will be main evented by the WWE Champion Randy Orton taking on his old tag team partner, the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle. And of course, WrestleMania Saturday will be main evented by the Friday Night SmackDown main event. A world heavyweight champion, Seth Rollins, taking on the winner of the men's elimination chamber match, Drew McIntyre. And then of course, the other matchup signed for WrestleMania so far is Becky Lynch taking on the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who has been the center point of the women's championship for over six months here in the WWE. And a six month rivalry with the ballsy badass Shotzi that concluded back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Asuka won back the gold yet again in her career. Successfully retained it eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber in Anaheim against Tegan Knox. Asuka has been unstoppable and undeniable as of late. But can Becky Lynch be the one to dethrone the Empress of the top of the WWE Women's Division? We will find out. Coming up at the end of February, WrestleMania Sunday, Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida. As Becky Lynch continues to take the fight to the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Still to come tonight on Raw, Cedric Alexander, a man who has taken Rob Van Dam to the limit in recent history here on the Red Brand. Gonna have his hands full with the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, but a big opportunity for Cedric nonetheless. Wait a minute, Becky rolling up Shayna there, not just yet. Also still to come tonight on Raw, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will kick off 
with the Viking Raiders taking on Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Of course, that tournament was announced last week. Eight teams, four from Raw, four from SmackDown. The finals of the Dusty Classic will take place on WrestleMania Saturday, and the winners not only will hold the cup, the prestigious winnings of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic, but they will move on to WrestleMania Sunday just 24 hours later to take on Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. A lot riding on that tournament, and we're just going to kick off later tonight on Raw. Meanwhile, Shayna Baszler, we talked about those submission holds here. Becky Lynch is feeling the pain by the Queen of Spades right now. And Becky able to get out of it here. And Becky Lynch made her learn every submission hold front and back. She's got to deal with Shayna Baszler tonight, but she's got to deal with Asuka, who knows submissions very well. WrestleMania, and speaking of submissions, Becky saved by the ropes there, but Shayna Baszler almost putting an end to your opening contest here in Kansas City. Of course, Asuka won the Women's Championship, as we mentioned back at the Royal Rumble. She did so by tapping out Shotzi to the Asuka lock and used that same submission hold to retain the gold over Tegan Knox in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. She locks it in on Becky Lynch on February 26th at WrestleMania. Becky. Her WrestleMania dreams may be coming crashing and burning down. All remains to be seen as Becky trying to hang in there right now with Shayna Baszler. The man has been nothing short of successful since making her WWE return after being out with an injury. Remember, she returned here on Raw in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match versus the boss, Sasha Banks. Becky rode that momentum into Anaheim, California eight nights ago outlasted all the other women. Came down to her and Bianca Belair inside the Elimination Chamber, but Becky Lynch got her hand raised and earned the opportunity to fight Oscar at WrestleMania. Trying to earn the victory over Shayna Baszler, but again, Baszler hanging on in this opening matchup. And also still to come tonight on Raw, you remember last week, the Nigerian giant Omas sent a message out saying he wanted his name on the WrestleMania marquee. He put out an open challenge for WrestleMania and said he would be back on the red brand tonight and was looking to make sure that challenge was accepted. So is the Nigerian Giant going to get his answer for WrestleMania? We will find out later tonight on Raw. Meanwhile, a mega superplex by Becky Lynch to Shayna Baszler. And now the man goes behind, but Baszler able to counter. Look at that leapfrog, able to dodge the Queen of Spades there. Shayna Baszler once dominated NXT as the NXT Women's Champion. A win over Becky Lynch tonight could easily put her in line for the WWE Women's Championship post-WrestleMania. But well, right now, Becky Lynch is looking to make sure that is not going to happen on her behalf. Whipping Shane off again, again Shayna Baszler running through whatever the man had in mind. Oh no, power bomb possibly. Oh wait a minute, turns her inside out. And Shayna Baszler into the cover to win this matchup here on Raw. But Becky gets the shoulder up a close call for the number one contender to Asuka's Women's Championship at WrestleMania. And Becky trying to turn the tide in this matchup. Sending Shane over the top rope. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The man is headed up to that top rope. Shayna Baszler all days and confused on the outside. Becky Lynch went for a drop kick to no avail. And Shayna Baszler lucky to avoid that maneuver by Becky Lynch as she makes her way back into the ring. Becky to follow. And Shayna Baszler right there to capitalize on the misstep by the man and looking for that choke hold here on Becky Lynch. Close to the ropes, but not close enough. Becky is in trouble. Maybe on the verge of tapping out here on Raw. Oh, wait a minute. There's a couple of elbows by the number one contender and white, right, one right to the nose, excuse us. Becky Lynch able to avoid disaster, at least for another moment. You've got a hell of a fight here in your opening match on Monday Night Raw from Kansas City on the road to WrestleMania. 26 days away from the grandest stage of them all. Becky whipping Shayna off, Shayna counters, Shayna with a kick, Shayna with another one, goes for the forearm, Becky counters, Becky with a kick of her own, oh wait a minute, rolling her up here, looking for the finish, into the cover, oh but Shayna Baszler to pop the shoulder up again at the last second, but Becky's right there, drop kick to the Queen of Spades. Becky Lynch, you smell the sense of urgency in the man to try to put this thing away. Wait a minute. I believe she is going for that disarmor. 
and she's got it locked in tight. Becky knows Strainer's submissions herself, and she picks up the victory tonight on Raw. It's the Disarmor versus the Oscar Lock come WrestleMania. But tonight here in Kansas City, through all Shayna Baszler had, the Disarmor is what propels Becky Lynch to success here tonight on Monday Night Raw. It was a big time win for the number one contender. Momentum continues to be in the corner of the man on the road to WrestleMania. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. And the question is, will Becky Lynch be leaving? Oh, wait a minute. The WWE Women's Champion, Asuka, is in the ring. This has been her MO over the last few months, getting the upper hand over her future challengers. Asuka, oh, wait a minute. Becky landed on her feet. Asuka trying to come from behind, but Becky ain't having none of it. We have got a brawl on our hands, a WrestleMania preview 26 days away from Tampa Bay, Florida, as Becky lays out the women's champion. Asuka tried to lay out the man, but Becky Lynch was having none of it. Asuka's still to her feet. Becky got to keep her eye on the champion. The brawl continues here tonight in Kansas City. Asuka has made this her MO to get one up on her challengers the last few months, especially during her feud with Shotzi. And I use the same tactics on the man Becky Lynch to try to get the edge on the road to WrestleMania. A slap to the face, a sign of disrespect for the champion, and laying out the number one contender. Message sent by the WWE Women's Champion tonight on Monday Night Raw. We are back live on Monday Night Raw on the Nigerian giant. Omas is set for action. And also in doing so, I'm sure is looking for an answer to his WrestleMania open challenge here tonight in Kansas City. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omas. Well, as a refresher, this is what Omas had to say on Twitter just last week on Raw. He said, I'm going to make sure my name is on the marquee for WrestleMania. I'm officially challenging any WWE superstar to a match on the biggest stage. When I'm back on Raw next week, meaning this week, I expect my WrestleMania challenge to be accepted. That was last week on Raw. Omas is in the house here in Kansas City. He's got our truth tonight. But what lies ahead for Omas Come WrestleMania, has anybody stepped up and signed the open contract to fight this behemoth at the grandest stage of them all? That is no normal man right there. The colossal Nigerian giant, the dominating and intimidating Omas, looking to make his legend known. And Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida at the end of February. But tonight, our truth is Looking to step up to Omas. A lot of respect to R-Truth, but I don't like his chances here tonight as he comes running at Omas, and Omas just whips him over the top rope. Omas is clearly gonna be out to make a statement tonight. I don't know why anybody would wanna willingly step foot in the ring with Omas. I don't know who's gonna dare to accept that open challenge. Hopefully we find out tonight if anybody is willing to step into the ring with a man this size, this scary, and this intimidating. Or truth is having worse for wear right now at the end of the day in Omas. Oh my goodness! It's a knockout blow if I ever saw one. Or truth is trying to hang in there, trying to avoid whatever Omas has got here. Look at him swinging away on the big man here. I don't like his chances, no disrespect. But there's Omas just grabbing him and manhandling our truth here tonight on Raw, sending him to the outside. Oh, wait a minute here. Look at this. He's got our truth all tied up in the ropes and just unloading. Well, Moss has got some agility in that framework and out ragdolling our truth across the ring. I don't know who would want to step foot in the ring with the man known as Omas as he picks up our truth and slams him down on the canvas. And truth has got to be done already, but Omas is looking to make a statement. 
big boot to our truth that would knock out any normal man. And Omos into the cover. Pretty academic at this point. The Nigerian Giant picks up the win here in Kansas City. Well, certainly a statement made by Omos tonight on Raw. I guess nobody is willing to step up to face this man at WrestleMania, but at the end of the day, message was certainly sent to the Monday Night Raw locker room here tonight in Kansas City. What? Wait a minute! You gotta be kidding me! Is he? Oh my goodness! The Beast incarnate! Brock Lesnar is on Raw! The alpha male of the WWE is back and he's making a beeline towards the squared circle at Omos! Look out for the Beast! Brock Lesnar is here! Tell me Brock Lesnar is looking to accept Omos's open challenge for WrestleMania. It has been some time since Lesnar stepped foot inside the squared circle. Over a year at this point, Lesnar dropping Omos with the DDT. Referee can call for the bell all he wants, but Brock Lesnar is looking to make a statement tonight. Oh my, F5 to Omos. Reinforce the ring in Tampa Bay at WrestleMania. Challenge laid out and challenge accepted. Brock Lesnar is back. Omos is getting to his feet. Oh my goodness. How is he still standing after one F5? Lesnar, a second F5 to the Nigerian Giant. Brock Lesnar is back. And he is full steam ahead on the road to WrestleMania. What a surprise here on Raw. Well, the action continues tonight in Kansas City on Raw as Raquel Gonzalez goes one-on-one -on -one with Saray. Plus, the New Day's Big E set the lock horns with the modern name Maharaja Jinder Mahal. And the results of those contests see Raquel Gonzalez continuing to build momentum against Saray one-on-one, -on -one, plus Big E with another big win here on Monday Night Raw as he defeats Jinder Mahal. Raw continues next from Kansas City. What well, is time to kick off the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The road to WrestleMania for eight teams begins tonight. And what a way to kick it off with the former World Tag Team Champions meeting up with some old competition in the first round. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. All roads lead to WrestleMania for these eight teams. Tonight it's Dijakovic and Priest versus the Viking Raiders. Street Profits and the New Day will meet next week on Raw. And then on the Friday night SmackDown side of the bracket, Legato Del Fantasma takes on Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura plus Imperium versus Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. It will be a SmackDown versus Raw final on WrestleMania Saturday, February 25th. And then the winners of the 2023 Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic will meet the current WWE World Tag Team Champions Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY 2v2 for the gold on Sunday night, February the 26th, WrestleMania Sunday. Dijakovic has entered and here comes his tag team partner, the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. And his partner from New York, New York, 
weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Well, we have one more live premiere before we get to WrestleMania at the end of the February. That's coming up on February the 8th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a Raw and SmackDown joint production of Saturday night's main event. A lot of great action coming from Saturday night's main event over the last year. The tradition continues on the road to WrestleMania. February the 8th, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Mark your calendars, it's gonna be another great event. But tonight here on Raw, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, they lost their World Tag Team Championships to Johnny Gargano and Damaso Ciampa back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. They would love nothing more than not only to win the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and the honor that is bestowed with it, but then to move on to WrestleMania Sunday and run it back with DIY and have a chance to become the Tag Team Champions for the second time in their careers. But their opponents tonight, two men they got history with dating back to the month of December, Eric Ivar, the Viking Raiders. And at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders. It was back on December the 7th of last year at Raw Homecoming, during the midst of Priest and Dijakovic's Tag Team Championship reign, that they successfully defended the gold against these two men, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. But did, it did not come easy for Priest and Dijakovic on that night. One of the best matches of 2022, without a doubt. And two men who almost a year ago at this point, last March, won the World Tag Team Championships from Randy Orton and Matt Riddle, which really started the downfall of that tag team. Would love nothing more than for them to get another shot at the Tag Team Championship. They held the gold from last March all the way till June 26. At SummerSlam last year, they've had a couple of opportunities to get him back. Unfortunately, haven't been able to do so. But is tonight the night for Eric and Ivar to move one step closer to becoming the tag team champions yet again? We'll find out in due time. But tonight is about the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and the lineage and the respect and the honor that comes with this very tournament. The first time it is going down on the main roster. It has been an NXT mainstay over the last several years. But Raw and SmackDown getting their chance to honor the American dream over these next couple of weeks on the road to WrestleMania. Ivar and Dijakovic kicking things off. And again, this is not the first meeting between these two teams. One of the best matches of 2022. Back in Madison Square Garden, New York City on December the 7th at Monday Night Raw Homecoming. Priest and Dijakova got their hand raised on that night. I'm sure Eric and Ivar have watched that match back in preparation of tonight. They're going to figure out what they did wrong, right the wrongs of that contest, and walk away the victors here tonight in Kansas City. Going to move one step closer to WrestleMania. Of course, the winners of this match will meet the winners of next week's Street Profits and New Day matchup in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Damian Priest getting cut off there by Ivar, and the big man using his size to his advantage. Tag made to Eric, as Priest and Eric meet in the middle of the ring. A little off center, but nonetheless, Damian Priest with a shot to Eric. As the fight continues, and you gotta believe this is gonna be a barn burner between these two men, between these two teams. Nice maneuver there by Eric, showing some strength. Eric's got that MMA background. He knows how to utilize it to his advantage. A lot of suplex variations just like that. A lot of slam variations in Eric's move set. Now again, picking up Damian Priest. Damian Priest, no small man. But Eric is throwing him around like a rag doll right now. And again, Eric unloading on Priest in the corner. Viking Raiders with something to prove tonight. They want their win back from December the 7th, and they want to move on to the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Meanwhile, Damian Priest shoots Eric off, looking to outrun his opponent here. Beautiful clothesline there by the Archer of Infamy. A tag made to the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic. Priest and Dijakovic have had an, an amazing run as a tag team ever since 
joining up back in the fall. Won the World Tag Team Championships on September the 10th of last year at Judgment Day by defeating Dominic and Rey Mysterio. And held the gold all the way till January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Two men with a lot of size and strength, but two men who also have a ton of agility to fly around that ring. I think one of the reasons why they work so well. Eric's not interested in any of their abilities. He just wants to dominate, destroy, and win tonight. Tag made to Ivar, and Dijakovic, you see, he was right there to cut Ivar off. And there's some of that agility we were talking about out of the rare breed, Dominic Dijakovic. And again, cut an Ivar in half off that elevated Bronco Buster. Springboard, look at that. Leg drop, cover, to move on to the semis. Not just yet as Ivar gets the shoulder up. It's gonna take a lot to keep both of these teams down. They know each other well, and a lot is riding on the line in this matchup. And Dijakovic saw Eric Lyon in wait and decided to capitalize. Cross body to the outside. But it, turning his attention to Eric may have just cost him here as the other half of Viking Raiders, Ivar, has now taken control of this matchup. And the biggest man of the match slams down the rare breed. Oh no, Ivar ain't afraid to fly. Oh my goodness, what a moonsault off the middle rope. Into the cover, Damian Priest breaking things up, but that was almost it. What agility, how impressive was Ivar off that moonsault off the middle rope. And Dijakovic trying to bounce back, but Ivar having none of it. He said we were in for a barn burner tonight, and these two teams not disappointing yet. This is only the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. It's all to move on to the semifinals and then a chance to compete at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Dijakovic getting back into this as Eric is also the legal man. Don't be smart for Dijakovic to head to his corner, tagging Damian Priest. He took a lot of big time offense from Ivar there, but we know how tough the rare breed is. Him and Priest have gone the distance with several tag teams during their run as the champions, and they ain't afraid to do it again. Off the power bomb, sends Eric into the corner. What has the rare breed got in mind right now? I'll try and maybe go for a cutter. Not sure, but a psycho knee out of nowhere. Mikey Raiders to move on to the semifinals. Dijakovic able to scrape his shoulder off the canvas, but how close was that? Dijakovic needs a tag, he needs it now. Wait a minute, schoolboy. Oh, too close to the ropes there. Almost trying to steal the win over the Viking Raiders. Now let's chop and a super kick by the rare breed. Dijakovic, he has got to be feeling it right now. He needs a tag to the Archer of Infamy. He took that mood, so he took him a psycho knee, and there's the tag. Damian Priest, the legal man. Oh, wait a minute. Eric's right there to cut him off. Priest with the kip up, goes for the clothesline. Eric counters, Priest counters, and Eric goes over the top rope. Leaving everything in that ring tonight. Dijakovic is down and out on the outside. Priest has got to go it alone right now. Wait a minute, Springboard dive to the outside. Or maybe leave everything in and out of the ring. Damian Priest showcasing that Dijakovic and Eric and Ivar are the only ones who can take it to the sky. Tag made to Ivar. Both their tag team partners are laid out right now. And we got a one-on-one -on -one match, at least for the time being. Ivar and Damian Priest going at it. Ivar's had a few moments to rest as Damian Priest has got to be reeling off that dive. Never mind, Kip up, but he tackles down the bigger competitor. The former NXT North American Champion, former United States Champion, and former one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, looking to get his hand raised here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Now look at the strength out of Priest to pick up Ivar and slam him down right on the knee. That's what you got to do. You got to break down the bigger competitor. Obviously, Priest and Dijakovic got size to him, but Ivar is a different kind of athlete. And he proves it every time he is inside of the ring. There's a reason the Viking Raiders are former World Tag Team Champions just in the last year alone. And what a boot scrape by Priest. 
Reese has got his eyes locked on Ivar right now. And, oh, wait a minute. Could be looking for that reckoning. But Ivar able to muscle out of it. And there's a counter by Priest. Back and forth we go in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Yeah, what a matchup we got tonight on Raw. We still have Cedric Alexander versus the WWE Champion Randy Orton coming up in your main event. Priest again tackling down Ivar. Just trying to keep the bigger competitor down by any means necessary. Ijakovic with a few moments to rest. He now gets tagged in by Damian Priest. Springboard, leg drop again by the rare breed. And Dijakovic's got his eyes on Ibar yet again. We've seen him do it in the past. He's going to do it again. He's looking for the feast your eyes. Dead center of the ring. And Dijakovic, oh man, he tried going after Eric there, but Eric got the knee up. And Dijakovic retaliates. And he let Ivar rest. And that's the mistake there by the rare breed. He went after Eric, and it gave time for Ivar to recuperate after that feast your eyes. Now into the cover. And Ivar able to get the shoulder up. Dijakovic and Priest not able to put the Bucky Raiders away just yet. Shooting Ivar off again. Look at the strength off the tilt to world backbreaker. Not many men are going to be able to do that to Ivar. Dijakovic is one of them. We've seen Dijakovic put Ivar away with that feast your eyes in the past, but took his eye off the ball, targeted Eric, and it may have cost him in this matchup, but he's trying to fight from behind right now. Ivar with the tag to Eric. Fresher competitor of the Viking Raiders in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kickoff matchup rolls on as Dijakovic takes momentum back. Oh, now look at this. Here comes the strength out of the rare breed. Sits out with the power bomb directly into the cover. Smart by Dijakovic there, but not enough to put Eric away. Now a tag made back to Damian Priest. Does Damian Priest got the tools to keep the Viking Raiders down tonight? So far, I'd say these two teams are topping their collision for Raw Homecoming back on December the 7th. Eric counters out. Priest with the kip up. My goodness, what a forearm to the back of the head. That'll knock any man out twice on Monday. Eric with a counter. Priest with a counter. Back and forth we go in the first round. Priest, there's the strength. Backbreaker on the knee to one half of the Viking Raiders. You saw it in the right corner of your screen there for a moment. Ivar starting to get back to the ring. And being laid out by Dijakovic moments ago. Damian Priest in there with Eric. What is it going to take for one of these two teams to advance to the semifinals? Both teams are going to be counting their lucky stars as they're going to have a week to rest as we still have the other first round matchup for Monday Night Raw coming your way next week as Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits, take on Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. Of course, the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues on SmackDown this Friday night as well. I believe Damian Priest might have been going for the reckoning again there, but Eric was able to counter and he tags in Ivar. Now Ivar, oh no. There's the strength from the big man. This could be a knockout blow. Priest, skull first on the canvas. And Ivar's got to go for the cover. Got to give Viking Raiders and Ivar credit here. Smart to pull Priest away from Dijakovic. He's got to pick a spot here. He's got him dead center of the ring. I think he wants him as far away from the rare breed. Dominic Dijakovic as he possibly can, though. This is giving Damian Priest time to rest. I don't think this is a good move right now by Ivar at this point. He's dragged them all the way to Viking Raiders territory. And Ivar into the cover. Dijakovic to unintentionally, I think, distracting the referee. Dijakovic in to break things up. That was a costly misstep by Ivar if I ever saw one. Uh, Dijakovic's going after Ivar in the ring. Damian Priest, I believe Eric got tagged in. Lot to call here as Eric gets snapped off the top rope. The Archer of Infamy coming undone, goes for the dive to the outside, but Eric sidesteps it. 
The fight continues. Priest with a lariat. This Pier 6 brawl has made its way to the outside of the ring here in Kansas City. And a Falcon Arrow by Priest. Damian Priest stands tall in the ring for a moment. His smart call to give himself time to rest. Look at that. Knocks Ivar off the top rope. Now Damian Priest shoots Eric off here and sends him for a ride. And how deep are we into this matchup? Oh, got to be almost 10 minutes, if not over at this point. And now Priest, oh, wait a minute, could be going for that razor's edge here. Priest loves to have this maneuver on hand in his arsenal. Razor's edge into the cover. And that's got to do it. That's the exclamation point that they needed, not just yet, as Eric gets the shoulder up in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic moves on. Got his arms locked here. Eric able to counter. Yeah, this is what winning this tournament means to these two teams. And not only winning the tournament, but earning an opportunity at the tag team titles on night two of WrestleMania on February 26th. Reese back in control. There's a counter by Eric. That was a stiff knee to the nose. Can break a nose on any day. Counter again, back and forth. The momentum swings in this matchup on Raw. And absolutely topping their matchup from Raw Homecoming back on December the 7th, 2022. And now again, Damian Priest going to the well with what works. Razor's edge number two, and he's not done. Picking Eric back up. And continuing the fight. Priest knows at this point, Eric is showing too much sign of heart, too much signs of life. He knows one Razor's Edge wasn't enough, a second one probably wasn't gonna be either. That may have given Eric the chance to get back in this match. And just as we started earlier, Eric drives Damian Priest down on the canvas, and a kip up by Priest sends Eric over the top rope on Viking Raiders territory. Oh, wait a minute, Damian Priest. Oh, he's gonna go, oh, there it is! Step up, dive to the outside! Down goes Ivar! But the legal man, Eric, takes control. This is absolute chaos in this tag team matchup. Damian Priest took it to the sky and took out Ivar, but the legal competitor for the Viking Raiders, Eric, has used that to take the momentum. And he is throwing Damian Priest's caucus around ringside. Priest heads back into the ring. Eric follows. There's Damian Priest wiping him out. How deep in this contest are we? How much do these two teams still got left in the tank? They got to be near an E at this point. Priest going for a third, possibly final. Razor's edge into the cover. That's got to be all she wrote to move on. Ivar breaks it up. Damian Priest going to target the other half of the Viking Raiders. Sends the big man over the top rope. Damian Priest hitting the ropes, and my goodness, what a knockout blow. This may be a time to try to take advantage. Ivar's down, wait a minute, Damian Priest, the reckoning! And that's gotta do it, into the cover, all the way to WrestleMania, there you go! Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic outlast the Viking Raiders in an absolute tag team war here on Monday Night Raw, and they have punched their ticket to the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Man, they had one of the best matches of 2022, and they are given 2023 an early match of the year candidate. What a fight in Kansas City. Here are Well, the former World Tag Team Champions absolutely earning this victory tonight. The Viking Raiders, the first to fall in the first round, and there you see the updated bracket. Priest and Dijakovic will meet the winners of the Street Profits and New Day's fight next week. 
And then all roads lead to WrestleMania as the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues here in WWE. It is the grandest stage of them all, and it is coming your way Saturday night, February the 25th, and Sunday night, February the 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time on both nights. It is a live premiere weekend for WrestleMania. And officially signed after the events from earlier tonight, the Beast is back. Brock Lesnar versus the Nigerian Giant Omas has been signed for the first time ever on WrestleMania Saturday. And in the main event on that night, coming your way on Friday Night SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as Seth freaking Rollins defends against the number one contender, the chosen one, Drew McIntyre. What about WrestleMania Sunday, when the Empress of Tomorrow meets the man, Asuka versus Becky Lynch to determine who sits atop the throne of WWE's women's division as its champion. And of course, in the main event, it's the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle versus the Viper, Randy Orton. RK Bro meets once more for the WWE Championship on WrestleMania Sunday. It is time for your main event in Kansas City. What a night it's been already inside of that ring. And here comes the WWE Champion, the Apex Predator, the legend killer, Randy Orton, is here on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Randy Orton has been on a path of destruction for months here in the WWE. Everybody that has stepped up, he has put down. Most recently, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam, eight nights ago at the Elimination Chamber. Randy Orton, of course, did not walk away with a smile on his face in Anaheim when he was ambushed on that night by his former tag team partner, the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, the man who has been chomping at the bit since August 7th at Extreme Rules to get his hands on Randy Orton. That, of course, the last time those two men fought. The matchup that Randy Orton promised would be the only time that Riddle gets his chance to get his hands on the Viper. But through the WWE Championship and through the Royal Rumble matchup, circumstances change and they meet again in the main event. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander! Cedric Alexander has taken Rob Van Dam to the limit. Not just once, but twice in recent history here on Monday Night Raw. Tonight, another opportunity comes his way as he has set the lock horns with the man who defeated RVD back at the Elimination Chamber, that being the WWE Champion Randy Orton. And what a win tonight could be for Cedric. A win that could absolutely propel his career on Monday Night Raw and possibly earn himself a WWE Championship opportunity either in the lead up or after WrestleMania. Of course, Randy Orton, as we mentioned, he's been on a path of destruction for months. Everybody who has stepped up, he has made sure they step aside. Mustafa Ali, Drew McIntyre, John Cena, Edge, AJ Styles, Austin Theory, Rob Van Dam. The list goes on. Randy Orton has made a name 
once again at this point in his career off of all their behalfs. Cedric Alexander's coming out swinging to this matchup. Randy Orton, however, having none of it. Making sure things are going to stay the age of Orton and not the age of Alexander tonight. Look at Randy Orton saying Cedric Alexander ain't the only one who can take it to the air. Randy Orton out to embarrass Alexander tonight on Raw. WWE Champion, I'm sure, is not happy that he's got to once again lock horns with his old rival Matt Riddle at WrestleMania, but such is the way those two roads meet. Warren is the WWE Champion. He won that title back on Thanksgiving night inside Hell in a Cell at Survivor Series versus Edge. And Riddle, for all those months, kept his promise that he would stay away and not continue to move towards this fight with Randy Orton. Try to leave RK Bro in the past. But as we documented, for months, Riddle really wasn't the same man ever since everything went down with Randy Orton and Orton put the nail in the coffin of RK Bro. That all turned around. Oh my goodness, a fall to the outside by Alexander. That all turned around for the original Bro on January 1st when he won the Royal Rumble matchup. Now again, their roads will meet on WrestleMania Sunday in the main event. Riddle Orton, WWE Championship. Right now, Randy Orr is looking to make a statement on Cedric Alexander's behalf. Just chucked him to the outside moments ago and I was beating the hell out of this guy. And Cedric trying to make sure Four. it's going to be the roles reversed tonight and that he's going to be the one making some noise here on Monday Night Raw. Laying out the WWE Champion there and sending him into the barricade. Alexander back into the ring and Cedric headed up to the top rope. Looking to throw caution in the wind. Oh, to make some noise. Make a little buzz here in Kansas City. Crossbody to the outside of the WWE Champion. Cedric has been moving up the ladder, even in defeat. In his matchups with Rob Van Dam. And he's looking to do the same tonight. Instead, getting his hand raised against Randy Orton. What an upset it would be. Obviously fighting from behind. He is the underdog tonight. But Cedric's got all the tools to be a winner here in the WWE. A former tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion. The Hurt Business fell apart back in November in the WWE draft. Cedric Alexander's been looking to carve his own path ever since. Randy Orton trying to make sure it ain't gonna happen off his behalf as he's stomping away on every inch of Cedric Alexander tonight on Raw. And I went to the cover. Orton to pick up the victory in your main event. Alexander gets the shoulder up and Orton can't believe it. Orton's got to know the heart and soul of Cedric Alexander. Oh, wait a minute. Orton going for the RKO. Alexander, nice counter there. And an arm drag. Impressive by Cedric. Able to avoid Orton's best shot. And now Randy Orton ain't going to be happy about that. Slowing down the momentum of Cedric. And now a kick to the sternum, making a dose. And a clothesline there takes the man off his feet. Orton heads to the top. Cedric Alexander, however, has got something else in mind. Fall away slam. And now he's going up top. Alexander looking to capitalize on the opportunity tonight. Elbow drop to the heart of the WWE Champion. Into the cover. Not just yet as Orton gets the shoulder up. It's been an awesome night here in Kansas City. The return of the beast incarnate, the alpha male of this business, Brock Lesnar is back. And that matchup officially signed for WrestleMania Saturday, Brock Lesnar versus the Nigerian Giant Omas for the first time ever. What about the matchup we saw moments ago? Kick it off the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic outlasting the Viking Raiders. And they will meet the winner of next week's match between the Street Profits and the New Day. But right now, our focus is on the WWE Champion and Cedric Alexander as Orton with a suplex to his opponent. So Matt Riddle's in the back watching this affair right now. He ambushed Orton back in Elimination Chamber. But you know, as for Riddle, he picked up a victory last week against Sheamus here on Raw. But in a situation that we still need to know more about, Austin Theory hit the ring and laid out Matt Riddle. We still have yet to get answers from Austin Theory as to what the attack was all about. 
can only imagine Austin Theory is just trying to find his way to WrestleMania. Wait a minute, Alan Sander rolling up Orton there, almost stole the victory. Got to keep your eyes on the speed and the agility as he is unloading on, Vi on the Viper right now. If Cedric's going to win, it's going to be by capitalizing on his strong suits like we're seeing right now. The speed, the agility, and the heart, and the soul, the drive to win this matchup. Nice neck breaker there. A little bit of a float over on Randy Orton. Orton's got to be feeling it. The pressure. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Alexander. I don't know what he was going for there. Trying to lock in that full Nelson. But Randy Orton with the counter. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Vipers had enough. No more playing games. RKO by the WWE Champion. Into the cover. Good night. Randy Orton picks up another victory here on Raw. Matt Riddle is certainly gonna have his hands full come WrestleMania Sunday. I know he's motivated. I know the fire is under the ass of the Royal Rumble winner, but Randy Orton is operating possibly on the best level of his entire WWE career. Another win for the WWE Here is Champion. Your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of Matt Riddle, the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner is looking to do the same thing he did to Randy Orton in Elimination Chamber. The fight continues. Well, Riddle can't keep his hands off for him, but Orton, wait a minute, prepared the night. Suplex to Riddle. Man, we might be seeing this every week on the road to WrestleMania. Riddle's been waiting for the reason to get his hands on Orton. He's finally got it, but Randy Orton came prepared tonight. Riddle's down, the Viper. His adrenaline was already pumping from this main event matchup on Raw, and Riddle made a bit off a little more than he can chew on this very night. Oh, and a drop kick right to the heart of the original bro. Randy Orton cutting off the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner's momentum tonight, but all roads lead to WrestleMania. Who will leave the WWE Champion? We will find out in 26 days. Thank you for joining us, and good night, everybody. Hey, so I'm gonna chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rock.